welcome to all in the last video we have uh, created a user account now in this video we have uh, using a multi user property which are uh, possible in only in the linux in normal windows user cannot be a uh, have a benefit of multi user while Linux will be provide you as a multi user environment where you can uh, easily log in more than one user at a single time. So start the our the terminal. In this account we have creating a suppose OS boxes dot org that is a root user and the second and the user is a uh, account name. So on the same terminal uh, we have using a both two login names the uh, property we are the files which are creating by second one user you can easily can uh, see and uh, approach that kind of files within the same terminal where uh, second user which name is account which not be login at this time so that is a multi user environment where this uh, at moment of time in a one terminal you can access more than one user at a same time which is uh, differentiate from windows and it have a multi user property so we start our the topic we have just typed the terminal once the terminal will be open it something slow okay so at this time if you have login that is a uh, pwt that is a present user login that is a home slash os boxes where is the same as uh, i just open the two terminal here i just type a command sudo login and the username is account then password for the os boxes that means the super user that is your root which is os boxes dot org this password is uh, and then your account password which is uh, my account password so you can see we can easily log in and uh, you can see that is a terminal type 6 we have already discussed in a later video what is a tty6 so if you scroll this terminal window can easily see it's a issue about uh, your speed so there is uh, some issue regarding speed is given a also be a root user just wait you can see okay this account at the rate was boxes if you type pwd so you can say home slash account that means we have login from this user and we can access this so in both user you can uh, access the files of uh, suppose uh, uh, we have n networking and we have provide uh, terminals where the same machine will be on and the second user will be access the files which are present in os boxes in uh, this environment Okay, you can see that uh, the username uh, is a home slash account. So suppose I want to access these kind of files, which has a name is who on this other terminal. So what happens is I just write cd space, then uh, go to the path home slash os boxes. You can see my login is account that is a second user, and now I am ls you can see there is a file name is also on the desktop you just go to the desktop and you can see that uh, on the desktop there is a file name is who which are uh, this one file you just want to read a file what write on this the cat space who so it's a blank file so you can also be check it if it's a blank file
issue which will be solved in next video So you can see it's a blank file. So either you write here you just save it and close it. Now again just type cat space who and you can see hi this is a Linux class. So you can see that is a multi user that means you can access the files of from this user to that is your root user and vice versa. Suppose on the OS boxes, I also so want to be access uh, a kind uh, desktop file. So you just cd space slash home slash okay. Then you just cd space desktop. You can take on the desktop and then ls. So you can see there is a shell program. I think it's a folder. So it's a directory shell space program enter cd shell and maybe it's uh, spelling is wrong no such file or directory s h e w l n p r o g r a m let not be access no such file or directory this ls so this may be some problem ok so I will just uh, create a file uh, not here uh, cd ok what happened I just create a def on a desktop file on the second user that means name is uh, cat uh, aa sorry cat aa hello then control chat now again comes here and then ls So be a new file and the space a space slash home slash ak slash desktop so you can move it now again just go to cd desktop and now ls you can see that is a a so again ls you can see that is a a now cat a so hello so what we are see that both user can access the files so this is a very fantastic environment that is a same multi user one from those boxes we can access the second user files and from the second user we can access the first one file so this is a fantastic uh, tools which not be in windows that is a multi user environment in next video we have also discussed that as a security option if both user can uh, open the files uh, there must be a, some security features also be there that you can also be apply some security that this file will be a read only or write only or you cannot be given any permission to open so in next video we have again discussed on the file permission thanks for watching thank you